Hello and welcome to day three of the five days to farewell 2018. Can't believe we're halfway through already and what a few days it's been. So hopefully you were able to work through yesterday's task and if you're having a bit of trouble with that, please feel free to reach out and I'll do my best to um, support you. Okay, I'm not sure what just happened there. I think, hey Debbie, I think you joined me. That's cool. <laughs> Sorry, I've got things dinging and binging over here. I'm not sure what's going on. So today is day three and it's all about looking at our gifts and what we're grateful for for gifts and gratitude is today's theme. Just go with me a sec. Um, Deb, you won't need a camera or a microphone. Just as long as you can hear me, that's fine. And if you've got any questions, you can just type them into the chat box for me. Um, so yeah, today is all about the gifts of 2018 and what we're grateful for. So, before we move in, we'll do our little essential oil anointment. So today what I've picked out for you is lime and also wild orange. So both of the citrus oils, if you don't have any of these, but you have got a citrus oil like a lemon or tangerine or even citrus bliss, um, feel free to get those out. So again, just a drop of the oil into the palms of your hands and then rubbing them together. And taking a nice big deep breath in, all the way down to the bottom of your belly. And just as we're breathing out, just letting go of anything that we might be holding on to, any tension, any worry. So you can continue doing that if you want to. I won't because I need to be able to talk to you guys. But again, I'm just rubbing that excess onto my body and I can already feel and notice the difference of inhaling those oils and what a beautiful combination wild orange and lime are. So today I posted in the group about the tasks of the day. So the first one was to have a look at your gifts and not necessarily physical items that you've received during the year. It might have been an experience. It might have been a gift that you tapped into, maybe some kind of creativity, maybe connecting with um, some universal aspects, angels, guides, that kind of thing. That can be a gift as well. So just taking some time there to reflect in on what those were that you received this year. And making a list in your journal and just letting that come through. What you might notice too is you might sit down to do these tasks and nothing's really coming up. But if you start the process, you like in the morning and just leave the list with you throughout the day, you can come back to it. That's what I find seems to happen with me. I'll start something, think I'm finished, but then ideas will start dropping back in throughout the day. So I just have my journal on the kitchen bench and just come back to it as things pop in. So there's no pressure to be completing things in a certain time frame. It's just flowing in as and when it needs to. So once you've done that, you can then flick through the things that you're grateful for. Now, the, again, these might be experiences, they might be material possessions, um, it might be, you know, an, a situation, it might even be something that's come out of what we looked at yesterday in our road bumps and our hurdles that you might be grateful for. It might be a quality that you've tapped into this year that you didn't realise that you had. Strength, courage, bravery, resilience, vibrancy, something like that, it may come in. Because what we find is the more that we can show gratitude, the more things that will come into our lives that we can be grateful for. And again, it's that classic case of focus goes where the energy flows. So we start to bring in more positive experiences if that's what we're choosing to focus on. So that's the two activities for today. If you're having any issues or you need a bit of support and guidance, you can reach out to me and I'm happy to do that for you as best I can with two kids on school holidays. That's always fun. <laughs> um, I've just locked them outside the house and I have them. They're out the back painting toenails or something. 
But um, what I did do today as well, I've done pulled some cards again because I felt, I don't know, it's just a nice little touch to add. So today we've got these soul coaching cards, which I quite often work through, work with when I'm experiencing some kind of a blockage. So I've pulled those out. And with the intention of looking at um, gifts and gratitude. So the first one that came out was the fulfill, fulfillment card, if I can pronounce it. So joy abounds in all areas of my life. So really what we're looking at today is those gifts and those things that we can be grateful for. And not just as a whole for the year. Gratitude is something that we can incorporate into our lives every day as a little practice. I know I used to run the gratitude jar making workshops and we'd make jars and we'd take them home and write on it each day, a little piece of paper each day and pop in the jar what it was that you were grateful for for that day. The second card that popped out today was Grace, <coughs> which funnily enough, I was having a conversation with a friend this morning and we were talking about Grace. And it says, I graciously accept the infinite love of the universe. So quite um, on point with looking at gratitude and the gifts that we've seen throughout the year. And then the third card, funnily enough, was the Miracles card. So my life is a miracle, which I think sometimes we forget that life is a miracle. Actually opening our eyes and having breath fill our lungs each day is a miracle in and of itself. Sometimes we can get too caught up in what's going on in the world and how we're feeling, what we think about certain things, that we forget that simply by being here on earth at the moment is a, a true miracle. So I'm going to leave you there for today. Um, tomorrow I'll be back in with day four and the theme of tomorrow is letting go. It's actually one of my favourite topics. So I'll be in nice and early in the group with the post and I'll also do a call again, probably like I've done today with the Zoom call and the link. So I hope you go really well with today's activities. Let me know how you go. Pop in the group with your questions or reflections. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day four. See you later.